Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about this deal from DxO Shop called the Holiday Magic, where when you buy two of their software, you can get 30% off the whole purchase. Now the question is, which two should you get? And that's what I want to try to help you decide today if you've been thinking about getting any of these DxO products. So here are the five products that they're offering, the Photolab 6 Elite, DxO Viewpoint, Film Pack 6, DxO Pure Raw, and finally Nick Collection 5. First, I want to briefly talk about these products individually, and then we'll talk about what combination may work best for you. So as many of you know, Photolab 6 is my primary photo editing software. I think it's one of the best out there, and I have a few videos on it where I review the software and go into more detail. So I have no hesitation in recommending Photolab 6 Elite, but you have to be careful because they actually have two versions of Photolab 6. They have an Essentials version, and they have an Elite version. And I recommend you get the Elite version, and here's why. Now the Essentials Edition is certainly a robust photo editing software. It also has the DxO Optics module. It uses the new wide color gamut. I mean, it's, it's a very, very good photo editor. However, the Elite version is the one that comes with the Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD AI-powered denoising. Uh, this, is, this is the key element that is missing from the Essentials version. And really the only reason to buy the Photolab 6, because this is really amazing, as many of you have seen in my previous videos. And of course, there's support for Fujifilm cameras. Um, there's additional uh, perspective and distortion tools that you get. The Clearview Plus, uh, which is, you know, gets rid of fog and haze. And um, many, many other things here that you can kind of go through. And I do use most of these. But the key things, the, the, the two key things really is the Deep Prime XD and the Perspective Distortion Correction Tool. And that's what's showing here is the DxO Photolab 6 Elite version for $219. And this is the one you want to get if you're thinking about getting a photo editing software and or replacing photo editing software you're using now. Next up, we have Viewpoint 4, which is a distortion perspective type correction software. And it's very, very useful for uh, architectural type photography, uh, particularly when using very, very wide angle lenses or maybe a fisheye lens. This software will make a lot of corrections uh, a lot easier. And there is some overlap between Photolab 6 Elite and DxO Viewpoint 4. So let's look at the uh, where they overlap and what's unique to Viewpoint 4. Now this is the page from the Viewpoint 4 manual and it tells you exactly that in addition to the perspective correction tools, you get volume deformation, miniature effect, reshaping tool, and flipping. So flipping is like if you wanna make a uh, flip it horizontally or vertically and make a mirror image. But you know, these uh, four tools here, I really don't use that much personally, but if you think it's something you might need, then you need to get viewpoint four. But if we look at the tools that are in common here, we have distortion correction, which is like uh, correcting fisheye type lenses or barrel distortion. If the lens is in the database, it'll automatically correct uh, fisheye and barrel distortion. If not, you can do it manually. Uh, perspective uh, is basically, uh, you know, getting your lines straight, right? So if you have any sort of a, uh, keystoning type problems, you can correct it easily with this. And of course, you know, straightening the horizon and doing crops, you can do all of these things here in the Photolab 6 Elite already. And you're going to use these probably 99% of the time. Uh, and these are very, very specialized uh, features that I, I rarely use myself, and I'm an architectural photographer. Now next up, we have the DxO Film Pack, which basically emulates different types of films. So if you want to do Kodak or... Fujifilm or, you know, Ilford and HP5, you know, black and whites, colors and slides. This is a very specialized software for doing that sort of thing. I mean, you can add grain, you can add uh, light leaks and different types of frames. I mean, there's a lot of really nice features here to make your images look like they were taken with a vintage film camera. It also has some rudimentary editing tools, you know, for brightness and contrast and color. But generally speaking, you're, you're just emulating different film stocks, and that's what this is for. Next up is the DxO Pure Raw 2, which has been their signature 
AI noise reduction software, which also includes the DxO Optics module to give you, you know, a little more sharpness out of your lenses. And it really pulls out the details while just eliminating, I'd say, most of the noise. And I'm sure many of you have seen uh, the amazing results that DxO Pure Raw can give you. So if you're already happy with your current photo editor, uh, you can just add this part to your photo editing workflow to eliminate the noise. And that's all you need. You don't need to get the Photolab 6 Elite. Now that said, Photolab 6 Elite has their latest Deep Prime XD denoising algorithm. But I can tell you in practice, when I was doing some comparisons myself between the Deep Prime XD and the DxO Pure Raw, there's very, very little difference. The Deep Prime XD, which stands for extra detail, does pull out just a tiny bit more detail and offers some additional uh, sliders to help you squeeze out a little bit more. Um, you know, the DxO Pure Raw still does 99% of the work. I mean, it, it gets you there. And maybe this is all you need, like I said, if you're already happy with your current photo editing software. Next up is the Nick Collection 5, which is really a huge package that's been around for many years, 20-some uh, years at least. And, uh, you know, it has like eight different plugins and 250 presets, as you can see here, the U-Point technology, which gives you more creative control. But let's take a closer look at this and see what all you get. All right, let's do a quick deep dive into the Nick collection, and I'm going to skip all of the accolades and uh, other information they have here. It's all good stuff. You should go back and check it out, but I wanted to kind of summarize these individual plugins for you. All right, first up, we have the Nick Color Effects, which is really amazing for uh, fine tuning and adjusting colors in your images. Uh, it has the same viewpoint technology, but what's interesting here is that it includes a ton of film simulations uh, where you can do different film stocks and also do different authentic film grains. And there's a lot of overlap here with the uh, DxO Film Pack 6. When you get the Nick collection, you don't need to get the Film Pack 6. You can just use the film simulations in Nick collection color effects. Next up, we have the Nick Silver effects, which again is, you know, renowned for editing black and white images. But this also has film simulations built into it with the grains and everything. If you get Film Pack 6, you don't need Nick Collection to do film simulations and vice versa. If you get the Nick Collection, you won't need Film Pack 6, uh, generally speaking. Next up, we have the Analog Effects, which is uh, basically like a bunch of filters to emulate toy cameras or to do double exposures. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So if you're the very creative type, I think you'll really appreciate all of the tools available here. I mean, there's a ton of them. So uh, definitely this is an excellent uh, plugin. All right, next up we have the Nick Define, which is basically a uh, noise reduction software. Now it does have some uh, unique tools to it to help you refine how you do the noise reduction. And I would say it's a little better than you know, a lot of the noise reduction you find in other photo editing software, but it is no deep prime. If, if you're going to have raw images, if you have the raw images, you're way better off using deep prime, deep prime XD in Photolab 6 or the pure raw 2. Uh, this doesn't hold a candle to that. However, this software uh, does work on JPEGs and TIFF images, whereas Photolab 6 and Pure Raw only work on raw images. So this gives you a little more flexibility, but the results are nowhere near as good. Okay, we have the Nick uh, Viviza. And uh, this is a, I would say, a simplified photo editing software. And I think this works really well as a plug-in to, say, Photoshop or Lightroom, where you want to do some fancy color tricks to your images, uh, particularly because it gives you access to the U-Point controls. And uh, that by itself is very, very powerful. And that's what makes Viviza still relevant, I think, as a photo editor is because of the uh, U-Point technology. And then we have the HDR effects, which you can bring in, you know, like three bracketed images and uh, it merges them together. And it really does an excellent job, much better than I've been able to do in, in Lightroom anyway. 
And uh, of course, you can do realistic images for very high dynamic range images, or you can do more surreal things and get get um, some crazy uh, artistic type uh, HDR images. And then we have the Nick Sharpener, which really helps you to sharpen your image without them looking over sharpened. And again, there's some very, very fine controls, including the U-point uh, technology. And that's what makes this uh, very unique. So it's not just a simple sharpening tool. Uh, because of the U-point technology, uh, you can be uh, a have a little more precision and a little more control how you sharpen the images. And then finally, we have Nick Perspective Effects, which is another distortion and uh, perspective correction tool. And this offers, I'd say, almost everything the DxO uh, viewpoint offers, but it's included as part of the Nick collection. Really, the only thing that this doesn't have that the viewpoint had is the uh, reshaping tool. So when you look at Nick Collection 5, I think basically you're getting Film Pack 6 and Viewpoint 4 included with everything else it has to offer. And for $149, it's really a bargain uh, when you look at the price of Film Pack 6 and Viewpoint 4 uh, added together. Now with that said, you would think that makes our choice a lot easier, right? We get Nick Collection 5 with either Photolab 6 Elite or Pure Raw 2. Now the question is, which combination is best? And of course, that's going to depend. Let's look at two scenarios. One is, if you're looking to buy a photo editor or switching photo editors from Lightroom, Capture One, maybe OM Workspace, then you probably want to get Photolab 6 Elite with the Deep Prime XD together with Nick Collection 5. And you can skip these three right here. However, Nick Collection 5, and I haven't mentioned this yet, includes a full license to Photolab uh, 5 Essentials. Now that is the previous version and it's the lightweight version. It doesn't include the Deep Prime. However, if you get Nick Collection, which includes Photolab 5 and Pure Raw 2, you don't need to get Photolab 6. The only scenario that you would need really to get Photolab 6 is if your camera is not supported in Photolab 5 Essentials. Now, fortunately, DxO makes this very easy, and I'll put a link down to this page below. But let's put my camera in, for example. Uh, OM System, OM1. And you can see that DxO Photolab 5.3 and DxO Pure Raw 2.1 support the uh, OM System OM1. Let's check another camera, something that just came out maybe, like the uh, Fujifilm X-H2S. Photolab 5.5 supports it with DxO Pure Raw 2.2. However, you can see in the notes here, it says DxO Photolab only available in Elite version. So the DxO Photolab Essentials version that comes with Nick Collection will not support the Fujifilm X-H2S. So be very conscious of the notes here. So if you want to try to get the most bang for the buck, you could download the free trials for Nick Collection 5 and Pure Raw 2. And when you install these, they'll give you a link for the Photolab 5 Essentials with the license key. And you can see if this combination works for you and you'll save gross $90. Now that said, there is an argument to be made to get the Nick Collection 5 with the latest Photolab 6 Elite, uh, because with the 30% discount, the difference is less. It's, it's like $68 difference instead of $90. And you also get the latest Deep Prime XD, and uh, the newer color gamut, and a few other things that Photolab 6 added that are not available in the Photolab 5 Essentials. Me personally, I think it's worth it just to get the Nick Collection 5 with the Photolab 6 Elite, but you can save a little money and get like 90% there with just this combination. So I hope I was able to make sense out of all the different DxO products available today. And uh, if you'd like to take advantage of this offer, I'll have my affiliate links down below. I'll earn a small commission. It helps the channel out a lot. Or if you just want to buy me a coffee, I'll have links for that as well. But either way, I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you again soon.